Hi, Scorpio. This is the second time I'm doing your reading. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are all doing great, sister, brother, gang, gang. For those of you that are new, this is a Strictly Scorpio channel. Everybody in the house is a Scorpio. So, if you enjoy me, you like the way I read, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that way you're notified when I upload new videos. Um, Scorpio. If you want a live tarot card reading, you can do so through my uh, toll-free numbers that I have for the USA, for Canada, India, and the UK and parts of Ireland. Mention my name, Julia, to get your first reading discounted. And if it's your birthday, just mention your birthday or your zodiac sign and get $10 off your birthday reading. That's my birthday gift to you. Okay? Uh, for Scorpio Squad official merch, you'll get it through the Teespring store and my social media links. And keep in mind, I do separate videos in regards to love tarot card readings over at, at rumble.com it's called Scorpio Squad the link is provided down below make sure to subscribe over there a lot of you have already subscribed over there thank you so much um, so we have another platform as well uh, you can leave comments there there's a list of advertisements there I think you'll enjoy it so go check it out and see if you want to be part of that I'd love to have my soul tribe over there all right, today is September the 3rd. We have a new moon coming on September the 6th in Virgo. So Scorpio, let's see. I'm, 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 I think I'm going to start with the Moonology deck because we're already in those energies. Make sure to hit the like button for me. It's so important so other Scorpios can get their messages and be aware of our channel. Um, we can never have more than enough Scorpios in one place. And Scorpio, I thank you for all your love and support. I couldn't do any of this without you. It is our channel. And thank you for all the lovely comments you guys leave down below as well. I forgot to say. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know, angels? What does Scorpio need to know for today, September the 3rd? What does Scorpio need to know? I call upon the divine. I call upon the Holy Spirit. I call upon the white light to give us clarity and guidance for Scorpio. For September the 3rd, angels. Okay, you got a lot of them. I'm going to I'm gonna tell you all. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you are approaching an end of a very tough cycle. For a lot of you, it could have had to do with romance. Um, you're finally letting that go. And you're moving into the new Scorpio. Okay, you may have been holding on to resentment, pain from the past. Um... For a lot of you, you could have been waiting for an outcome, a court ruling, or something like that. Everything is coming to completion. You're, you're really close, okay? Spirit is saying, thank you to divine. Okay. There is a situation that you may be holding on to from the past. Spirit wants you to know nothing will come of this situation because it's not for you. Rejection is always God's protection. Alright, so you may have been thinking that somebody was your true soulmate and all that stuff. They have proven themselves over and over again not to be trustworthy, Scorpio. And you know this. So you need to look at things at face value for what they truly are, okay? And not continue to want something that's not good for you. I feel everything has been shown to you in regards to this. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, it's time for you to breathe out, relax. For a lot of you, you're fearful about what's going on. Don't have fear. Believe in God. Believe in your spirits. Believe in the divine. Okay? Because certain individuals want you to be fearful. Don't be fearful. Fear is the biggest um, catalyst for not uh, moving forward with your life and doing the things that you need to do. Alright? I'm saying it with love right now. Okay? Expect a powerful change. There is a powerful change coming, Scorpio. And it's all happening behind the scenes. The Divine's got this. Okay? It may be a big mess before it all gets cleared up, but it will get cleared up. You need to know that. You need to trust, right? Be bold and make the first move. Okay? Maybe a creative project that you want to get off the ground. Maybe somebody that you want to be with. It's saying, don't hold back. Go ahead and make that first move, whatever that is for you. It's time to release negativity. 
and the scorpions right on there so if you're feeling like you're not good enough okay or you know the things will never work out or stop that thinking whatever you're thinking you're putting it out into the universe okay you need to stop doing that okay you are good enough Scorpio you may feel you don't have enough information to do what you want to do you're afraid you may not do it right Spirit saying stop just listen to your intuition. Listen to what your heart and soul are telling you. Okay? And speak from there. Okay? Your dreams, though, need to have a practical path. You may be wishing for something that's a little, you know, <laughs> way too much. Okay? Just be practical on what you're wishing for and what you want to come into your life. And it could be that that thing that you want is impossible right now because of the way things currently are, okay? So just, you know, ask for the certain things to happen here. But Scorpio, it's saying not to sit back. It's time to take action. It's time to go after your dreams here, okay? Because confidence, your confidence is the key to your success. So, if you're confident, then you'll get to where you need to go. If you are in that energy of feeling like, you know, um, you're not good enough, it's not going to happen. It all starts with you, Scorpio. Okay? It all starts with you. You're very smart. You're very intuitive. You, you, you know, somebody may have made you feel that way, though, in feeling Scorpio in the past. Release that energy. It doesn't serve you anymore. For Scorpio, please. For September the 3rd. Cards are just flying out as normal. Okay. So, pretty soon you're going to have some kind of inner peace happening for you. In regards to a reunion. With somebody who could be quite selfish, egotistical looks out only for themselves i feel this person is going to reach out to you this person has a lot of passion for you and thinks about you all the time for scorpio oh here we go there's somebody that wants to marry you scorpio or this is you okay this person's thinking about you a lot and really really loves you they see you as their happiness. They see you as somebody who takes really, really good care of themselves. There's a lot of manifestation going on. And I feel you're dealing with your divine feminine here. Okay? Somebody has gotten the answers that they need in regards to this divine feminine to take action. Oh, card down, Scorpio. Never fails. Okay. Let's see what that's about. You're going to get a message. Somebody's going to be telling you that they either got out of a karmic situation or they're in a karmic situation or they're getting out of a karmic situation. Card down. Scorpio. For Scorpio for September the 3rd. For Scorpio, I love you, Scorpio. Something is changing in that belief, situation, relationship. Something is evolving here. Or something is changing. Okay? This person knows that they have a spiritual connection with you. And it's the Divine Masculine. You're being told to have patience here. Because the Divine is working behind the scenes. Spirit wants you to be confident, be quiet, 
don't reach out listen to your intuition and spirit is guiding you right now not to reach out or not to speak trust you are inspiring this person to make a choice between you and someone else okay justice will be served I feel somebody's going to be cut out of the equation here okay communication will start again yeah I mean somebody just can't let you go someone's going to honestly speak up here you see You're mirroring one another. And the connection is transforming right now as we speak. Okay? Somebody wants to come and tell you everything. Could be this Virgo or Gemini. I also have Aries here. I have Libra here. Gemini, Aquarius. Um, who else is here? Sagittarius. Someone's dreaming about you, and there is distance between the two of you. It's your twin. It's your twin. I feel you're both, or particularly one individual, is trying to heal their heart, and they're putting all their focus on their creativity and their work right now. Okay, trying to get themselves realigned because a cycle has ended and because a cycle has ended someone has been triggered to have a new beginning with their twin flame where there's abundance and gratitude and a brand new beginning which is very um, there's, a, there's, there's stability there's um, a solid foundation that's going to bring a lot of healing between the two of you. Somebody will be traveling here. Somebody foresees that in the future. Okay. There's a nervousness. There's upsetness. There's an anxiety here um, because this person I feel wants to come now and they can't. Okay. Or somebody's worried that it won't happen. All right, let's take the psychic tarot and see what we have for you, okay? I call upon the divine, I call upon the angels to give my beautiful Scorpios clarity. What's going on? Sacral chakra again, throat chakra again, third eye. So somebody has a lot of passion for somebody, but they're not speaking. And they're walking away from a situation. Even though they know in the future, the two of you will have this brand new beginning. Yes, somebody has the wisdom that once they achieve their goal, there will be a solid foundation between the two of them, okay? The universe is in charge of this. You don't have to do anything. There will be financial and material changes to your current situation for Virgo, for Virgo. There is somebody who is around you, um, or, you know, roles could be reversed, who's deceptive and jealous, okay? I feel this particular person is having heartache and loss right now. Know that you're going to have material and spiritual prosperity. Uh, your dreams will come true. They will be fulfilled. Card down. Scorpio.
I feel either you or somebody that you know is suffering in silence right now. Okay? Um, because the, the future is unclear. Um, they may be doing a lot of overthinking. Okay? I also feel that um, somebody is dis in discontent and bored. It's a waiting game between you and this person about who's going to reach out first. You're both hurting. I feel you feel like the situation is hopeless here. Okay. Somebody here may is suffering some kind of conflict and defeat here. Like maybe they messed up things so badly between the two of you. Okay. But things are going to start moving. Okay. Somebody here needs to get out of those energies and find their strength. To, yes. I feel somebody is going to take action and start moving very quickly towards the other one. After this breakup and moment of silence between the two of you. All right. What do we got? Yes. The divine stepping in. Yes, there's going to be obstacles and challenges here. You need to be patient, but you need to know that that flame that you carry in your heart and soul for somebody, somebody also carries that same flame for you. Listen to your intuition. Somebody may have done what they did thinking that you'd always be there no matter what they did and now they see you differently. Um, you do have positive movement forward here. Okay, You're listening to your intuition and you are moving forward and you are transforming here. Some of you may be traveling across water. Love is coming into your life here. I also feel for a lot of you, um, you are ascending. Spirit is talking to you more and more. There are, there's movement, there's choices, there's decisions that need to be made based upon the information that you are being given. They're saying to choose wisely. be some kind of authority figure or law being put into place here. And you may have to uh, stand up for yourself. Some of you could be in court. Some of you may be facing a judge. Okay. Somebody may know that they have to go against this and make a sacrifice so that the spiritual union can happen here. And by do, making this sacrifice, I feel you get what you've always been waiting for. Could be this empress. Or emperor. Now, we did have... Um, okay, let me look at this a little bit differently, too. Between this emperor and this empress, there is a spiritual union, okay? Like I said, there needs to be a sacrifice in order for the two of you to make this happen between the two of you here. To get what you've always wanted.
tell me more about this union. Yes. And when the two of you come together, your spiritual strength will be even stronger. Tell me about this empress and this emperor. Okay. Balance, prosperity, and triumphant success. It's your destiny. And it will give you a chance to build a firm foundation here with this individual. All right, let's see what um, your animal spirit wants to say to you today. What guidance do your angels want to give you for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know for today, September the 3rd? What clarity and guidance can you give to Scorpio so Scorpio can live a more abundant and happy life? All right, here we go. Electric spirit. Bring your ideas to life. You may be sitting on this idea or project and you still haven't gotten it off the ground. It's more in the talking stage than the action stage. So Spirit's telling you, you, you need to bring your ideas into life now. You need to make things happen. Okay? And stop procrastinating. And believe in yourself. Maybe that's why the procrastination has happened. Believe in yourself. We picked that up earlier in your reading too. You may think like you don't have what it takes. Or you don't have enough to make something happen. Spirit's saying you do. You will find a way if you really want to make it happen. Slow and steady wins the race. You may be wanting to rush things. And Spirit is saying to you, step by step, everything will fall into place. But you have to make slow and steady movement forward. And bring a gentler touch, Scorpio, because sometimes you can come off to other people, and I know, believe me, I know, but sometimes you can come off a little harsh, a little like, you know, queen or king of swords, you know, like off with your head. And Spirit's saying, try to have a more gentler approach, okay? Because sometimes you can come off a little too, too hard. I know there's certain cir circumstances and uh, particular situations where you kind of have to be that way, right? But overall, I'm saying, try to have a more gentler approach. Crow spirit, co-create with spirit. You see, you're being invited to work with spirit here for a greater cause. Flamingo spirit is here. And it's saying for you to embrace the in-between. Because you're going between two worlds right now. So, let me read Flamingo Spirit. That's what they're telling me to read. I will read the protection message for you too. Okay. So it's a number 26, which equals 8, which is the infinity symbol. Scorpio, here we go. Flamingo Spirit. Balance comes easily to Flamingo Spirit. Who sees what was and what will be and stands strong in the fact of uncertainty? You can be informed of what came before and plan for a future yet to be, but do not resist Flamingo Spirit's call to be fully present in the now, here where the real magic happens. With one foot in the life you are moving away from, and the one in the future as you become the one who leads the life of your highest intentions. You must make peace with the fact that you are not fully in either place. Embrace the in-between. The presence of Flamingo Spirit is also a sign that your creativity is arising within you and opportunities are beginning to present themselves. Remain here in a balanced state of mind for there is much to know and learn before going forward with a new plan. You can trust this moment and yourself as you take in what you see and become aware of all 
that you are experiencing in this in-between time. Protection message. If you're feeling nervous and wobbly, stop worrying about the past and the future. Instead, be present in the moment. Balancing. For now is the space in which creativity arises. Creativity is your birthright, but you're being, you, you have been moving too quickly in an attempt to avoid the discomfort of transition. You can blind yourself to the miraculous possibilities that are before you now and those just coming into being. The past has its lessons in planning, has its merits, but right now you may be imbalanced because you're becoming too nostalgic for what once was or too anxious about what the future might hold. There is time to plan carefully. For now, be still and know that Spirit is here co-creating with you in this moment. The next step will appear when it needs to appear. Relax into a state of balance so any anxiety can transmute into trust and faith that all will be as it will for the highest good. Okay, so if you're stressing out because you want things to happen faster, Spirit is saying, listen, just embrace the in-between right now. Everything is going to happen when it's supposed to happen. Okay? So, don't try to force it. Concentrate on the here and now. What needs to be done now, Scorpio? And everything will be revealed to you as it needs to be revealed and how you should proceed forward. Okay? That's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings. And I will see you later on. Love and kisses. Be safe for me out there, okay? Love you, gang, gang.